White flag is coming out. White flag's in the air. One more time Dang, around. Bring it home, bud. Three quarters of a mile to go for Kyle Busch. Lap cars may not be a factor. Paul Menard ahead. Tony Stewart ahead. Championship caliber win right there, boys. Kyle Busch off the fourth corner and three peats the spring race at Richmond. Very impressive. Happy birthday. Happy Denny birthday. Hamlin. You're the unfair advantage. Across the line. Casey Kane makes it home. David Reagan, Carl Edwards, the top five. Boyer, sixth. And what a dominating performance tonight for Joe Gibbs Racing. Just what the doctor ordered. The only thing they're going to be swapping is trophies. I like what Kyle Busch's spotter said. You are the unfair advantage. <laughs> I like that. Well, Darryl, the way he wheeled around everybody on the outside on fresh tires was like nobody else could drive all night. It's his 21st Sprint Cup win. He'll be 26 years old Monday. He is third among wins by drivers under the age of 26 behind Jeff Gordon and Richard Petty. Third win at Richmond in his 13th start. He's won three of the last five here. And is now tied with Dale Jr. Jimmy Johnson and Tony Stewart for the most wins here among active drivers. <laughs> he's pretty good at this too. He's he's like Houdini. <laughs> and the fans run to the fence to salute him or to boo him. And to him I don't think it matters as long as they're making noise. Meanwhile back at the ranch. Paula Montoya walks off toward the motor coach lot as Ryan Newman drives by. They had a couple of dust ups here tonight. Comes only the second multi winner in 2011. The way this chase could be formatted, two wins, these first 26 put you pretty good shape. Pretty good shape uh, for the race, the last race going into the chase being here as well. All right, Kyle and Kevin Harvick, the only multiple winners this year. Kyle had 235 laps of including the final 84. Matt? And catching up with Ryan Newman back in the garage here, he, uh, are you headed to the hauler to have a conversation with Montoya? No, I'm just headed to the NASCAR hauler to see, uh, see how the situation is going to get handled. How do you want it to be handled, Ryan? Uh, just fair, I guess. I don't know that you can have that. I mean, uh, I know that he ran up on me off of two there, and I clipped him. I mean, I'm not going to try to dump myself into the wall, but uh, to retaliate the way he did, just uh, didn't show much class. Seems to be a lot of history that dates back to his first cup start at Homestead. Yeah, I don't know that he can, he, he can even remember back that far, but uh, just proud to represent the U.S. Army, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Right. see what we can do with him. Mike? Thanks, Matt. Good hustle to catch up with Ryan Newman. Here is Montoya getting the ride back to the coach lot. Dick Bergren uh, is there attempting to interview Montoya, who waves him off and heads through the tunnel. Meanwhile, this young man's going to get a birthday celebration. NASCAR on Fox, live from Richmond, Virginia, Kyle Busch, less than 48 hours from his 26th birthday, pulls into victory lane, and our Chris is down there for the celebration. Well, there is something about this racetrack in the springtime. For the third year in a row, Kyle Busch makes victory lane his Richmond address. We knew you had to battle your teammate, and we also knew you were close on fuel. Obviously, you were late getting here because you needed a push. I know, yeah. we. We're a little late to the celebration, but these boys are never late to any celebration. So this is uh, this is pretty awesome. These guys are pumped up about it, obviously. And uh, I can't thank M&M's Pretzels enough, all the guys at M&M's that are here with us tonight. And uh, man, it's just it's so fun to win the, the the Sprint Cup races, you know. And thank Sprint for their support. But uh, 
you know, can't do it without interstate batteries. This Toyota Camry was awesome tonight, and, uh, you know, we've got friends from Gillette and Marquee Jets, NOS Energy Drink, of course, the fans, too, you know, that make this all possible. But uh, most importantly, the Mars Associates and employees, too, you know, they're, uh, they're a lot of fun to work with and, and handle with. But this race tonight was, uh, was a good one. You know, we had a really, really good car. And uh, we knew if we could play through traffic a little bit better than, uh, than the 11, that, that we'd have a shot at the win, and, and we did that tonight. Well, you mentioned that, and I mentioned your, the battle with your teammate. Was that the difference, working through traffic, or what was the difference between you being here instead of Denny? <laughs> well, I learned from Denny Hamlin last year, uh, last fall, and I'm not going to say what I learned, but uh, he might know. But we did a good job at doing what we needed to do there early in the run, and, um, you know, once we got out, and had to go through traffic and stuff like that. Traffic kind of fell our way, so we were able to pick our way through there. We didn't really get held up too much through there, so uh, yeah, I can't say enough about these guys. Dave Rogers and his whole M&M's team did a flawless job at, at getting this car prepared. A new tire that Goodyear brought here this weekend made it uh, especially difficult for most of the teams and, and us too, you know, but we just uh, we were the best of it here this weekend. So real proud of these guys for digging in deep and uh, pulling it out here today. So hopefully we can keep this momentum rolling and. Uh, you know, go through Darlington and then get to Charlotte, one of my favorites. Short tracks, long on success. He wins at Bristol, he wins at Richmond. Steve Burns is with his teammate. And Denny Hamlin uh, really needed a good finish. And Denny, it's been such a tough start to this season. How important was that to you tonight? Oh, it was very important to have a, a, a smooth race, nothing go wrong or anything like that. Um, you know, good pit stops late in the race. Um, just really got beat by our teammate today. We, we were so equal, and he was just a little bit better on restarts, and uh, he was able to get out there and set his pace. So he just uh, he drove a great race. I thought he was going to burn his stuff up, and I was just kind of sitting back there riding. But uh, when we wanted to go, he could pick it up. So uh, our cars were just dead equal uh, for the most part today. We just got beat. Danny, can you build on this for Darlington next week? I think so. I think that uh, we have a great shot to win there. Uh, we won there last year, and you know, this is what we need with our FedEx Freight team is to, to get back on track. And, um, you know, just can't say enough for everyone at Gibbs for kind of sticking with it, and uh, we're going to get back to the top ten. Thank you, Denny. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. So for the fourth time, a first and second place finish between Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch, and they have split uh, so far. Denny had won the previous two. Kyle gets him this time and last fall. Kyle said, hey, I learned from him. He's not going to reveal what he did, but it was the other way around as we look at the unofficial results from a wild night here in Richmond. Well, right now, when you take a look at those teammates who run, how about those all Toyotas at the top of the list right there? Casey Kane having a great run. And to me, this was exactly what Mike Ford needed and Denny Hamlin to build us to shut everybody up as far as how they're working together. You know, Denny Hamlin led 38 laps, but of the 400, Kyle Busch to lead 235 laps, and, and really the last 84, not much in doubt. Catch me if you can. <laughs> His favorite movie, Kyle Busch, is uh, Days of Thunder, and we have felt like that tonight, Nights of Thunder here in Richmond. Let's get some final thoughts from Larry, Darrell, and Mike up from the booth, guys. Well, how about some personal bests? Best finish of the season. Second for Hamlin, uh, third for Casey Kane, fourth for David Reagan, seventh for A.J. Allmendinger, 13th for Dave Blaney, and that's an important one. That's huge headed to Darlington because that means Dave Blaney and that team, they will be locked in the top 35. And you think about David Reagan. He has not had a top five finish in over two and a half years. We talked about what the doctor ordered for Joe Gibbs. It's also what the doctor ordered for Tony Stewart. First top 10 finish in a while. Yeah, and, you know, we worried about the crew chief change. Oh, are they going to change on 11 to 20? What are they going to do? They, I think they answered that question tonight. The 11 is pretty happy. I saw Mike Ford go over and give uh, Denny Hamlin a nice pat on the back. Right. So good for them. But uh, I thought tonight was very interesting. And we talked about in the opening, comers and goers. Yes. Some guys that needed good runs, personal best, they got them. Tenth one-two finish, though, for Joe Gibbs Racing, who thoroughly dominated here tonight. On to Darlington next Saturday night. That'll be the uh, Showtime Southern 500. You'll see it Saturday night on Fox, another baseball NASCAR doubleheader. So nine races, it's the, it's the quarter pole of the season, Jeff, and we have 17 races until the chase. The third straight race here now that Carl Edwards has maintained the top spot. Kyle Busch jumps up three to the third spot. Well, that's yes, the biggest mover right now. you got to watch Kyle Busch. He keeps sneaking up her closer and closer. Jimmy Johnson, he re re rebounded after really starting off really slow tonight with a top 10 finish. And I mean, that's the thing is that these points are becoming more and more valuable each and every week as we go deeper and deeper in the season. So A.J. Allmendinger all the way up to 11, Greg Biffle 14th, Denny Hamlin talking about the night he needed 
coming in second and heading to a place he's had success before in Darlington. Jamie McMurray, the guy who's won quite a, you know, had great success last year, looking for that first win this year. Let's check in with Steve Burns, who's with Casey Kane, who led 29 laps tonight. Good night for Casey Kane and uh, coming off another knee surgery. How do you feel? I feel great. My uh, my knee, I never even thought about it throughout the race. It was just more about the car and uh, the team did a really nice job. Whole Red Bull team, the Toyota ran great and uh, everybody from Kroger. Uh, it, was, it was a good night. It was, uh, we've had three bad ones in a row. So to come back and uh, you know have a solid top five tonight and lead some laps, uh, felt like we were one of the better cars. It was good. See you at Darlington. All right, thanks. And if you uh, tuned in and thought you might see an episode of Cops, instead uh, the Richmond race, but Juan Pablo Montoya did not want to comment. We'll see what kind of justice is handed out by NASCAR, as you heard comments from Ryan Newman uh, heading to the NASCAR hauler after the race when he said he would settle things. Meanwhile, there's the coach, the Hall of Famer, Joe Gibbs, uh, celebrating with Kyle Busch. And let's check in with Steve Burns, who's been busy running around. He caught up with a points leader. Well, Carl, it was a pretty physical race out there. It kind of went through ebbs and flows and just kind of a strange night. It was wild, man. Um, it was wild. We worked hard. Our Scott's Fusion was fast. And I thought, man, we're going to get a win here. We got, the, we got the fuel mileage. We got fuel. And I thought those guys would run out of gas. And then David Reagan went by me. I came to grips with the fact that he was going to win the race. And then, uh, and then those guys made it to the end. But a great night for our Affleck Scott's Ford. Another good points night. Yeah, we're leading the points. So. That, that, that's good to wake up tomorrow and have that feeling. That'll be nice. Good run. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve and Carl. We'll hear from more drivers. Uh, take a look at where the season stands at the moment as we head towards next Saturday night. And Darlington, you're watching NASCAR on Fox, where Kyle Busch is your winner tonight.